Hello, and uh, welcome back to Crochet My House. So it's been quite a busy week, it's been a lot of different things. Um, for one thing, I tried out doing um, epoxy resin with my sister. Um, some of them turned out quite well. I'll pop in a couple of pictures so you can see some of that. Uh, the bathroom's getting pulled apart. We are planning to put in a shower instead of a bath. So that's going on. And I've obviously been crocheting. Now, I did mention, I think last week, that I'd gotten the rest of the nativity patterns. Um, these ones here, the um, this set, the pieces that go with it. This was um, £3 on Ravelry. And obviously I already had this part, which is the background. I've been working on both of these different pieces. Um, and it's been, it's been quite fun. I mean, enjoy making a lot of pieces. So um, I just have this little baggie that I'm keeping them in. So that they don't get lost in the bag. Because the bag... It's quite big and it has a lot of things in it, so if I put it in there, things would get lost. In the bag, obviously, not totally lost. So here's the background. It's quite a lot further on than when you last saw it. Last time it was way down here. I think I might have had a little bit of green started at one point, but um, I have done most of this green this week and I have done this little brown section in the middle here I don't know if it's showing up well but there's two shades of brown this is a darker brown and this is a lighter brown now the inside is actually supposed to be dark grey I think but I didn't have any dark grey didn't want to you know go and find some dark grey so I just got some light brown and I'm using that instead or just pretend they were in a shack this time instead of cave. So um, that's the bottom part. Obviously, it doesn't have pockets yet. And then here is all the grass, which, as you can see, it is mixtures of colour. There's there's quite a lot of green, and there's a little bit of like teal and some blue. So for the teal and blue, I'm saying it's. It's like a little river running through the grass. And I think it makes it look more interesting rather than just solid dark green. That would be quite boring. So that's the background. I probably copied a picture of that as well so you can see it a little clearer without me trying to hold it up. So I actually, with, with getting this part here, I separated it into sections. So the first section, this bit, has your information that tells you hook size, colours, all of that fun stuff that you need to know. Then I have the second blob, which blob block, which is um, all the people. And then the next section is animals. This section's animals. And then the last section, because obviously this was for, um, originally it was for sitting on a table like this. Okay. So it does come with this little house bit. The manger bit. I'm not going to make this piece. All the other pieces I will be making, just not that bit because I don't need to. But yeah. I've been working on some of that, but I will show you the ones I've got. And there are a few pieces, um, small pieces, that came with the background that I have done. I could show you those. So, firstly, these I made a while ago. You've probably seen them before at some point, if you've been keeping up with the channel. Um, yeah, I made these pretty early on. And they're just little palm trees. Um, I also made this here pretty early on. And this is basically some straw or hay. 
and, and this is to go in his bed. I've, I've made his bed. Here it is. Just a little basket. And you put the hay in it. And then I have little babies. Well, he can show up and see the cup. Pick the food. Oh. And he's just wrapped in his little blanket. Um, yeah, so you just kind of sit them in here and so there's a little bit of the hay that sticks out and it's like that so it's really cute and so it's what I've got one part and I've also made this one person and um, it's not finished it's not a finished person it doesn't have a face or anything but this is going to be a wise man and I've used this um purple kind of velvety yarn for him because I picked that sort of stuff out for the wise men and just thought make them different from everybody else. Um yeah, it was easy enough to work with this um purple stuff did snap easy though well, which didn't really affect this but it was a bit of a pain. So yeah. This will be a little wise man eventually. And you still got face, um, little head covering, crown, and you're supposed to be holding a gift, but I haven't made the gift yet. But that's all of the small parts I have made. Yeah, time trees, Jesus, and most of a wise man. <laughs> so yeah, that's the first thing I've been working on. Right, the last two things I've been working on this week are separate from the calendar. They're just their own projects. But the first thing I've been working on is the socks. And they're getting closer to being at the same point as each other now. Um, this one has, I think, one more row of the shells than this one does. Yeah, that, that's pretty accurate, I think. Um, they're both starting to get some of the teal colour, which really does not show up on my camera. It just all looks blue. I will um, take a picture and see if I can get it to show up. It does look really nice in person, and it's slowly fading. Um, the next thing, oh, before I say that, um, it's this pattern here that I'm using. I will be linking it down below, just like everything else. It's a Simply Crochet magazine pattern that I've got. Um, that's what I'm using. So the next thing I've been working on is the block shawl. Which is also known as the Call the, Wid Ma Call the Midwife Baby Blanket. Um, yeah, because it was on the show. I'm really enjoying it and I think the colours are coming together really nicely. So we have, it's all stylecraft and in special DK. So we have stone, buttermilk, saffron, vintage peach and then it's just repeating those same four colours. So I've done another block of stone and I've started a buttermilk. Oh, here we are. And it's it's looking really pretty. I really love working on it. It's so easy. Um, and you just have to pay a little bit of attention to when you're putting in a little shape in the middle. But other than that, it's really easy. I don't really have to look at it or think about it when I'm working on it. So I consider it a really easy project. The socks, you do, I personally have to think about a bit more because there's a lot more pattern going on and um, there's not a straight seam on these socks. So with the rows, you'll be going round, you start, well, you come back to where you started, and you go around and it brings you back to the same point, but then you do a different row, like the shells, 
and it brings you to a different point and so it kind of goes like this but you can't actually see it so it's very well hidden in the scene it's just it moves around so it doesn't stay in one place so that's what i've been doing this week um yeah it's been quite busy it's also been kind of on the meh weather wise like it's been a bit grey and a bit rainy and stuff but today it's actually really nice and sunny and warm so i'm hoping to spend some time outside um sit and crochet obviously that's what i do most of the time So my question this week I suppose is going to be what's your favourite animated character? It doesn't matter what like, thing it's from, it could be Disney, it could be Studio Ghibli, it could be My Little Pony, whatever. I just wondered, I think I've asked this question once before, but it'd be interesting what your favourite character for something is. I know mine's is actually Eeyore. I really like Eeyore. He's cute. He's yeah, he's a cute little donkey. Um yeah. So remember and comment, like, subscribe and ring that bell for notifications every time I put up a video.